Hi folks, and welcome back to the Paradox Mega Campaign with the County of Portugale. Much of the world loves us, and it's not because they're our direct subjects. And some, some ill-minded people really don't like us, for no good reason whatsoever. The British. Ha! Huh. I don't know what the their objection is to us taking over their entire territory, subjugating their people, and, uh, uh, I mean... How is that unreasonable? And Chalukyas, because they think that we shouldn't be the dominant global power, including in their backyard. But again, why not? We're all that is good and pure and good uh, and pure and good. Yes, we are very eloquent. And they are everything that is bad and evil and bad. And their feet stink. In more refined geostrategical terms, uh, we would like to have them stuck between a rock and a hard place in the uh, sense that we want to control trade at Ceylon. Oh yeah, we can uh, take the inflation hit. How high is it? And reduce by 70 admin. Sure. That's better. And gain the Diplo points. Oh, uh, conversion completed. Uh, let's go to Bellitong. Have control over the Coromandel trade uh, node. And, well, war with Chalukyas will be inevitable by then. So we'll need to establish strongholds. Everyone wants to ally with us. No. Okay, the annexation of... Okay, that's almost finished. So we'll have Sardinia entirely to ourselves. Do they have units here? Yes, they did. Okay. Okay, where should we send you? Should we have you join up with the Imperial Guard, maybe? They are really short on artillery here. Uh, we really need more artillery. this army so let's get them some how large is the transport capacity 44 yeah that's fine all right so that's done are you ah. You're actually a fine addition to the fleet, I guess. Traders complain. What do I care about that shit? So, can we? Yes, fabricate claims. Treviso to begin with. It's too close to our cities, and it's not owned by us. That is not fair. Sicily, we need 30. Yeah, because of the claims we already have at Palermo and Grigento. So, maybe I'll go for the big boys first and the small, cheap territories later. You're still losing, damn it. Okay. Well, annexation is almost finished there. And once we get to 50, I think Japan will give us Nagasaki? Maybe. Uh, my complete ignorance of Japanese geography. Nagasaki is somewhere to the south here. I was hoping the... Hmm. 
Yes, he's in. So we might get that, maybe. I don't know how that uh, event triggers. Tariffs on grain. Mexico. Do they have high enough tariffs already? That'll take uh, another five years. Hmm. It's a slow gold colony rush, but okay. Uh, they have 15%. And they already have Liberty Desire. And that will only grow with their size, so better leave it be. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah. Oh. Their army will handle that. Wave of immigration to Chaco Central. Good. What are the chances of... Um Ah, 1650. So it's going to be a while still. The declining power of nobility. Okay. And why did you not get back to Lisbon? No, no, no. They keep drilling. Uh, oh yeah, that's the, the problem. Oh, we need to... Move you to Ormuz. And stop the attrition there, because there's too many people on Zanzibar now. Right. That's done converting. And we're doing these at a fair clip. With Sunday schools helping. Next war, we need to capture these, uh, so we can also take Socotra. Did we have some big ships producing? Yes. Oh, actually, we also have a small ship producing here. So that's where you were. Go to go protect trade and. Uh, this trade note. So, the Imperial Guard has assembled. The uh, Royal Armada has assembled. Do you need to upgrade something? Oh, we do. 500 worth of 44 ships. Uh, seems like a lot. How far off is new tech and naval stuff? Galliots. Don't have many of those, I don't think. So I think it's only the merchantmen that, uh, well, only almost exclusively. That's why it's not that expensive. Alright, let's do that. Are any of the other fleets also in need of... Uh, probably, right? Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's uh, increase our expenditure by upgrading our fleet. Huh, that's too much to afford. Not as rich as we thought then. Aha! So, suspicious of all strangers, the feudal rulers of Japan are reluctant to allow any merchants the right to trade or even land in Japanese ports. We must find a way to overcome these suspicions and become the only European power with a foothold in this exclusive market. And we have... Portuguese Nagasaki. The missionaries we sent to Japan have brought us good news. They have convinced the Shogun of Japan to grant the port of Nagasaki to the Société of Jesus. Why? Is not that not how you pronounce it? Due to our long-standing agreement with the church, this means that the fact of control of the port falls to Portugal. We will now have the unprecedented across as access to Japanese trade and a potential military foothold should we decide that our Japanese friends have outlived their usefulness. <laughs> oh yeah. Send the black ships. Very good TV series. Uh, it's uh, going on in years, but uh, yes, the Shogun. Seed Hizan. Most excellent. So. Do we need... Um, no, it's all going to Hangzhou anyway, so. And at Hangzhou, we are not... Pushing enough out. Nor at Canton. So I think we should focus more on Canton for now. Or would it be easier at Hangzhou? I don't know. We have Macau as a foothold here, so a foothold and uh, that should help. Yeah, and these also belong to Canton and we'll have Taiwan, yeah. So that's, I think, the best course of action here. Uh, let's send them to Macau. Where's the tiny little ship, single ship we sent up? Should be here, yeah, there we go. Go to Macau. Oh, you're doing nothing? Hmm, so we could protect Hangzhou as well. We have 41 ships here, that's a lot. And it's enough to push almost all of this to Cape of Good Hope. So we have that covered. Yeah, okay, so you go protect trade. Here. Yoshowoku! We can uh, now recruit Japanese mercenaries. Huh. We might want to gain a foothold in Japan. That's a thought. Can we... No, they have a claim on our province, so we cannot vassalize these guys. We can conquer them, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Request from... Uh, yeah, sure, we can accept that.
they are our friends after all. And we can also have a second claim here. Let's go. Yes, Friuli, it's close to the cities that are close to ours, but it aren't ours. That is also unacceptable. Claim them. Oh, you are not drilling, and you really should be drilling. We need another military leader. Hongmin <laughs> de Oliveira. I think the Macau origin is a bit uh, Zinku. Really? Akshambo Coelho. Vasco de Souza. Panyan Cabral. Adam de Tavora. Gonçalo de Magalhães. Alright, I'll take that. Not bad. That's not bad at all. You're almost there? Good. Has the army reached Hormuz? Yes. Let's get the African fleet back to Africa. It's a small fleet. Can't really face uh, Asian uh, enemies. Uh, did we build? Yes, here they are. Go to Singapore. I think we could uh, have a few extra artillery pieces here as well. Are we over the limit? Oh, just in ships. Tiny bit. Oh, that actually makes quite a big difference in terms of cost. Maybe we should, uh, where's the building, the buildings, uh, maybe we should have a couple of shipyards. We have one somewhere here in Taiwan. At Keelong, that's historically accurate, right? And maybe Nagasaki? So that won't really produce, hmm, because they're territories, right? Um, the Belarac Islands, sure. Actually, do we want to build anything else that might be worthwhile? Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, well, we'll have to save up to upgrade the Asian fleet. Right, so you... Protect trade here. See how that goes. To 42. See how that improves. How did we... Uh... Alright, that's much better. That's a lot more stuff going to Malacca. And because we control lots of Malacca... Alright. Fifty to Ivory Coast. Almost everything going to Seville. That should see a significant boost. I hope. Let's see. Okay, that's not bad. Right, that's an extra three or four, maybe. Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe three. Right, so. Do we need any more military leaders, big armies that are not drilling? Well, you're not drilling not because you don't have a leader. And same here, so. Alright. An extra four artillery, I think it will do the trick. Over there. And we have no free leaders, so... Is that the limit? Yeah. Danai de Nuronia, sure. I'll have a general from Goa. How is our overall... <laughs> it's almost at 100. Ah, well, now that we have uh, Nagasaki, yeah, we don't need uh, you to be there. So, More heretics under the... Oh, Hizan is going to take a while. Mm-hmm. Shinto is not easily... Uh, I see. Well. Do it. from Basra. We don't want to ally Basra. <laughs> Do we want claims on these guys? I think so. I think we do. Are they allied with anyone we don't want to fight? No. In fact, they have been at war with Japan and they will lose eventually, so I think... We want to take the opportunity to have claims on their territory before Japan completely annexes them. Reform dynastic administration causes corruption? Hmm. So, what else do we have here? We... Yeah, have a claim on that, but we can't act on it. We have a claim on that, we will act on it. We need 10 trade depots or stock exchanges. That would give global trade power 15 for 20 years. Sure. That'll increase tariffs. We don't make that much in tariffs.
Our European uh, holdings give us quite a bit more. I mean, the Caribbean is quite rich, but apart from that... So, is that enough to upgrade the Asian fleet? Yes! Has our trade position improved any? Eh, not really. No changes there for now. Okay. That did boost our income uh, a bit. At Seville, of course. Ah, finally. That is done. So, maybe send it to Salto. Gonna start a few wars soon. Hassi and I seem, uh, and the creek seem like good targets. Nice, big, juicy targets. So do the Inu. We want to have. Uh, New Portugal break out west though, so maybe the Wendro Federation would be a better target. There's free territory uh, out west. Do we have a Casa Spelly on these guys? Yes. Colonial. That's fine. Let's see if we can start a few wars. Do any of our trade protection fleets need upgrading? Probably. These are caravels. Barks. Oh, you even have... why do you... hmm. Yeah, we currently have early frigates, right? Yes, these need upgrading. Okay. So go to Malacca. 820, yikes. But they'll protect trade a lot more efficiently once they're upgraded. Finally, they're integrated. So, let's upgrade these guys. Protect trade in Malacca. Yeah, not having the ships really hits our income uh, significantly. And not having the ships at Malacca. That's okay for a few months. Uh, and...
So not that you are free, let's see. And you're also free. And you are also free. And what's the best uh, Trapani? We have a few wars to start. So, all aboard. The uh, army here. Do we have galleys? That's galleys. Okay. Let's just have them join the uh, Imperial fleet. Ah, what army do we want to attack Sicily with? Maybe the African one? You stop drilling. In fact, do we want you to join the... Uh... That's too big. Uh... Where's the supply situation when you move? Hmm, a lot of red. You're already uh, on the limit, being too big to uh, be an effective attacking force. 35, much more reasonable, yeah. So they will suffer attrition when moving at uh, 42 already, quite a lot. More often, uh, huh. What other army could use reinforcement? I will just start another army uh, with these guys. Have them stationed in um, Barcelona. You join with the Royal Fleet. All right, I have three free diplomats. We want war with Sicily. How is their fleet? Not particularly powerful. Though our trade fleet might suffer. Hmm, if it's out and about, maybe. Okay, let's get the royal fleet over before we declare war. Uh, we want to declare war on you. You have no allies, so... Tough. Oh yes, we wanted to...
become allies with these fellas over here. Oh, but because we are at war now, we can... Uh, ah, well, should have done that first. Oh well. So, let's do that. And... Start working on claims... Great Britain again. And who else do we uh, want to declare war on? Malacca. You are allied with Aceh and Brunei. Okay. We can take their territories. I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, big fleet. 28, uh, 28. We can take it. We can take the Brunei fleet. Uh, if ours is already upgraded, it's on their way there. So maybe wait a month. Actually, wait a few days. All right, that's better. And should we declare war on Malacca? Maybe. We don't have any claims on Bruneian territory, but I mean, once we have the territory of Malacca conquered, I'll just move on over. Ache is easily beaten. Yeah. Conquer that, and tackle Brunei. So. Malacca's getting... Oh, we would also get in a war with Khmer. No, no, that's... Ugh, that's another another beast entirely. That's a bit too much for us. Didn't see that. Ha, huh, okay. So maybe not that then. We'd need another claim in that case. If we uh, declared war on Brunei, they don't have any other allies other than... Right. We don't have any claims on them, though. For now. Hmm. Situation East uh, Asia is getting complicated. How about you fellas? Could actually vassalize you. Yeah, I think it's... We need to take down Brunei a peg or two, they have too much. Never let uh, the snowball effect uh, take an enemy too far. Ah, great, movement speed increase. On account of sinking one ship. Oh, 
Okay, well, let's split two and two. Is this the harder one? Kind of. Ah, well. Alright, we're making good money again. Even better. Yeah, the improved ships in Malacca made a difference, I think. Do we need to do the same in, uh... Other spots, I wonder. Early frigates. These are yeah ships we built recently. How about these guys? Okay, there's frigates as well. These guys are caravels, though. Okay, let's have you meet back. We don't have that much power of Cormandel anyway. Are we over the limit still? Oh my god. How did we get over? Ah, for the integrations. We went over from the integrations, of course. Well, we need a lot of extra naval limit. get upgraded and then protect trade at Coromandel even though it's not much ah, got an extra ship here let's uh, help the siege I guess so that will be done soon enough. We can start fabricating claims here. Let's go Chikzen first. And we have a free diplomat. Do we need claims on anything else? I guess we can start declaring wars uh, in America. Take uh, to beak, why not? is not good. Oh, perfect. Game Portuguese. And you go north. So the Eno should be done with rather quickly. The Wenro Federation, let's see. Do you have many allies? I don't think so. We want more heat in. All right, so I guess you can come to port to get ready to collect uh, the troops. You can still, yeah, you can still loot a bit.
Why do the Caribbean send troops over? Oh, uh, that is too far. For us to do anything <laughs> about it right now. Okay, well, uh, I think that's because they have this. They only reach there because they have this. Once we take those, they will not have that uh, colonial range. So, yeah, we need to declare war on them. Uh, when's the truce over? 19. With a claim or two and no more, but... Well, better than nothing, I guess. So. Sicily. We declare war on Sicily. It's Alexandria, Breton Company, and Friuli. We'll call in Anatolia. That should... Be enough to keep up with Alexandria. Yeah, we'll have to stop drilling with all these guys uh, to declare a war there, because there's going to be a lot of fighting over here. Maybe a second month to give them time to boost up morale for war. Eh, is that high enough? Let's wait another month. Missionary falls ill. Hmm. That's a lot of points, but I don't want him to stop working. So, I think it's time. Where do they have ports? Palermo, Syracuse, and Calabria, okay. And their, okay, their fleet is over there. So, we'll drop right on top of them and block the fleet in so they can uh, not attack our trade ships. Anatolia, please help. So, move into Friuli. And the Breton Company, can we cross? Yes, so. Where do they have forts? Visaki, Hum, and Malika. Okay. And Alexandria. All other thing. Uh, let's see. They have one there. How many troops do they have? Maybe we're underestimating them. 72,000 total. That's a lot. They are short on manpower though. Let's see what they do. Where do they send troops? Start moving our Imperial Guard to Africa. Let's see what happens.
They send the army up here. 70,000 is too much for one army, but... Oh, they're all the way down there. They're at war. With Abyssinia. That's... That's good. Okay. So I think we have free reign to do whatever we want. Oh, their army uh, moved out uh, quicker than we could move in. Okay. Let's do it the other way around then. Didn't completely destroy them. Maybe we can catch them. That was quick. They didn't have anyone manning the fort? Maybe. Anatolia's coming to help, and the Breton. Yeah, they don't have enough to do much. Anatolian fleet will protect us against uh, Alexandria's forces. Alright, I think this is going to go fairly well, fairly quickly. I hope. So, with these victories, we can then move with war against uh, Yemen and Paramatas again. But that is going to be next time. Till then.